<sighs> okay then, let's get going. Hello there, I'm Chachi Sanchez, the VR Citizen, and in today's episode, we go over the steps needed to get Star Citizen working in VR with the Quest 3 with a link cable using the Meta Link Desktop app, formerly Oculus Home. It is possible to play with a wireless connection using the Steam Link app to see your desktop. However, you will not have HOTAS support, only your Q3 touch controllers. I wanted this guide to be the best Quest 3 guide that I could make, except I can't record footage inside the Q3 to show you guys exactly what's going on with Vorpex. However, all the steps are the same as the general guide posted two weeks ago, so I will be reusing most of that footage to make things easy on all of us. This is a full stereoscopic VR setup with 6 DOF head tracking. It is not flat screen mode, and it is the best VR support SC is going to get until CIG can do it themselves. If you have any issues with this setup, want a copy of this file, or have any questions about SC and VR in general, drop by the Verse Discord. Links to everything are in the description down below. But first, we go to Crazy Sanchez with this breaking news. Whoosh. Thanks, Chach. Crazy Sanchez here at the Twitch Prime News Desk, and boy, do we have some breaking news for you. We reached a peak of 215 subscribers for the 2024 holiday season, an insane number I never would have thought possible only a year ago. We are now in the process of building a mobile VR Citizen cockpit that we can take to Bar Citizens as well as VR Citizen Con booth this year. Thanks to you, we got a Quest 3 VR headset needed for this project and we'll be ordering more parts soon. We'll be needing as much support as possible in the coming weeks and months, so keep up the voodoo that you do down over on the Twitch and YouTube channels. Thanks for everything. Until next time, I'm Chachi Sanchez. Stay safe, fly right. Y'all have a good night. And now, back to the 4.0 VR Citizen setup tutorial. Step 1. Downloads and Links. The first thing you will need to get VR Citizen working properly is Vorpex. All of the links needed will be in the description down below. However, the most important link is to the Verse Discord channel. This is where I have all the live troubleshooting text chat channels for you to help others get up and running if they're having trouble getting the VR setup going. Pre-installs and links. There is the Vorpex download link. Here's the link to the Verse Discord. Here's the original EAC Bypass GitHub for information for those wanting to know. And here is the Rifle Jock's Master Resolution and FOV list for every VR headset on the market. This is going to come in very handy if you want to get it set up and you're not using an index like me. Once you have Vorpex installed, please proceed to the next step. Pause it now or come back to this video until you're ready. Bypassing EAC Disclaimer this is all allowed by CAG. This method for bypassing easy anti-cheat is used by the Linux community to be able to play Star Citizen at all. These methods are known by the CIG developers and are approved by them as well. What we have done is taken this method from the Linux community, slapped it onto Windows 10 and 11, and it works perfectly for our VR Citizen needs. If we want Vorpex to hook properly into Star Citizen, we will need to bypass the EAC Star Citizen client. With all that in mind, some disclaimers for those that go ahead with the bypass. This is only meant for Star Citizen. It will only work with the current live patch. No PTU testing allowed in VR, except for Arena Commander. You cannot use this bypass on other EAC games. It will not work. You'll need to turn this bypass off in order to play other EAC games. There's a quick list of EAC games here. If you play any of these games or any EAC controlled game, you will need to disable the bypass. Instructions provided down below. Step two, editing the EAC hosts file. Copy this link. Open up with Notepad++. Once 
Once you have it open, add the following lines to the bottom. Copy. Paste. Now that you've copied those lines in, hit save. Hit yes to relaunch in administrator mode. Hit save again, and it has now saved properly. Step 2B, turning off the bypass. If you want to play other EAC games, turning off the bypass is as simple as going to this line and adding a number sign. Save. Make sure to run it as administrator if you haven't, and then the bypass is now off. Bypass off, bypass on. It is that simple. All around the Discord if you have any trouble. Step three, delete the EAC folder from the roaming slash app data directory. Copy this link. Copy. Open up Windows File Explorer. Paste. Enter. Go down to the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. And then delete. Step four, adding Vorpex hook excludes. Go to the configure Vorpex by double clicking it. Make sure while you're here on the general page to set your menu like I do. Be sure to select the proper headset in this drop down menu, as well as your controllers that you're using here. If you want to use the built in audio with your headset, be sure to click this checkbox here. If you use your own headphones, be sure to leave it unchecked. With that being said, hit apply and then go to excluded programs. What you're going to want to do is copy each one of these and then add to file, paste, open. Next, copy, add file, paste, open. Copy, add file, paste, open. Then hit apply and close. Now that we have bypassed EAC, gotten Vorpex ready, we need to set up Star Citizen to get ready for VR. Step five, Star Citizen Attributes file. Copy the scattributes.xml link for Windows and paste it into Windows Explorer. Open up the attributes.xml in Notepad. You are going to be looking for the FOV, the height, and the width. You're going to want to match these to your headset. You can find these values out by copying this Google Docs link provided in the description below. This is all done by RifleJock, a resident user of the Verse Discord. Many other people have been working very hard to be able to get you this information this easily. The resolution and FOV are going to be the things that you tweak the most besides the zoom in Vorpex settings to get Star Citizen comfortable on your headset. Drop by the Discord and ask in the troubleshooting channels if you need help with this step. This setup tutorial assumes you are running a 4K monitor for your desktop and your headset resolution is smaller than that. If you are running a larger resolution headset or your desktop monitor is smaller than 4K, please visit the Discord to find out how to set up a virtual monitor through Vorpex or wait for the next Quest 3 setup tutorial where we will go over those steps in detail. Step six, Star Citizen game menu settings. Before we launch Star Citizen in VR, we are going to need to adjust the end game settings for VR first. In the Star Citizen's Options menu, go to the Graphics tab. Make sure you have set to Borderless Mode, No Upscaling, DirectX 11, Vulkan, HDR, DLSS will not work with this setup. Be sure to turn it all off in these settings here. Next, go to the Game Settings. Scroll down to Vehicles, Targeting, Enable Auto Zoom on Locked on Target, and make sure it's set to No. Adjust Vehicles Targeting Max Zoom Auto Level to 0. Next, go to Controls, and at Mouse Sensitivity ADS Zoom Scaling Enabled, switch that to No. This gets rid of inverted ADS behavior when in a headset. Next, go to Key Bindings for Star Citizen. Advanced Controls Customization. For keyboard and mouse controls, you're going to want to go to Flight, Movement, and get rid of any and all movement controls off of your mouse if you use a joystick or hotas for joystick controls go to vehicles view and then get rid of any and all controls that adjust view with your joystick next go to head tracking settings 
you're going to want to make sure that track IR is selected in the general source. From there, make sure that head tracking general toggled enabled is set to yes. From here, you're going to want to in detail, very slowly, very carefully, go through every single one of these lines and make sure that you toggle them on and off for how you want to play Star Citizen in VR. A lot of the wording on these are very weird and different per line. This one says disable, no. This one says enable, yes. Make sure that you read these carefully and toggle them on and off as you need and see fit. Once you have done that, you have set up Star Citizen and it is now ready to run in VR. Go ahead and quit the game and get ready to launch. Okay, okay, so. Once you got your desktop in front of you and you are connected with your cable, then what you're going to want to do is simply start Vorpex. Make sure it's running. Hit the drop down and go for Oculus Rift Quest. Check if you're using audio or not. Apply and close. RSI Launcher. Launch game. And then if you've done everything correctly, it should just work. Now, Vorpex will hook into any window that you launch. So, if you run, let's say, a media player and Vorpex is running, it will try to hook it in VR. If you launch a web browser or any game or any window that can run, it will try to hook into it. Stop it from hooking, exit out of it, or hit pause watcher right here. With that being said, now that you know Vorpex is running and ready, it is time to launch Star Citizen in VR. More than likely, Vorpex will fail to hook the first time. These are the steps that you take to install the hook helper. As soon as the Vorpex window pops up, click, drag, and hold to make sure that it ends up on top of the Star Citizen window. Finally, here's the hook helper menu. Eventually, after 15 to 30 seconds, it will turn into this window. Click install hook helper, and then restart the game. If that doesn't work, drop by the Discord troubleshooting channels to get more help. Once Vorpex has hooked into SC, make sure that open tracked Octopus is moving with your head tracking in the bottom corner of Windows. So, Alt Tab, now you will see Open Track. Open Track is built into Vorpex. If you have Open Track installed on your computer, uninstall it. It will get in the way of the settings for the internal one that comes with Vorpex. Open the settings and make sure that the octopus is moving. Okay, good. Everything should be set up and working properly as soon as you put on the headset with Vorpex and Open Track. Hit Alt Space to recenter it at any time. If you need to adjust any head tracking settings, this is where you would do so. If your head tracking is choppy, try to lower your desktop monitor's hertz down to 60 hertz manually. Now that you are running Star Citizen with Vorpex, hit the delete key and bring up the Vorpex VR settings menu and swap over to full VR. So, go to now plane, hit that, middle mouse button will zoom in and out the image. That is called the Vorpex Edge Peak feature. You will need to make sure middle mouse button is free or rebind it in the delete key settings. Hit the delete key to bring up the VR settings. You will initially be in cinema mode, more than likely sitting in the loft. To get out of this mode, swap into full VR, go to more full VR settings, and then adjust all of these to where everything is comfortable. What you're going to want to do, go to Arena Commander and make sure that everything looks fine whenever you're flying around in your cockpit. Star Citizen is not built for VR, so the menus will not work. What I mean by that is this. Offline, free flight, launch. Okay, this is what it looks like with the edge peak on. And then I hit middle mouse button and edge peak is off. What you want to do is hit the delete key 
and adjust the settings to where the fully zoomed in mode looks perfect for you. It might look a little bit choppy, but the way I'm recording things is a lot different than the way that I normally do. So, with that said, what you're looking to do with the delete settings is adjust all the zooms and the sliders to where everything looks perfect when you are zoomed in. However, when you are in full VR like this, you will notice that you cannot see any of your menus. That is why you use the middle mouse button to edge peek. That will allow you to see the corners of your screen that you can't see when your FOV is stretched all the way to the edges of your headset in VR. This is what allows it to become full VR and fully stereoscopic. Make sure that your edge peak settings are nice and adjusted to where they are comfortable as well. All of this can be done through these delete menus. There's also many other settings in here that you can check out and adjust at your leisure. With all that said, hit OK and save. Next, drop into Arena Commander. Make sure all of your controls work for VR. Test everything. Fly around a bit. Make sure that all your head tracking, controls for flying, and walking around work perfectly. Your mouse should aim your gun, your head should track your head. Thing of beauty, isn't it? Once it's all said and done, be sure to thoroughly test in Arena Commander before heading into the verse. With that being said, you are ready to roll. Enjoy being a VR citizen. With that being said, thank you for doing the voodoo that you do, and I hope you enjoyed this 4.0 VR citizen setup tutorial. Until next time, stay safe, fly right, I'm Chachi Sanchez, Y'all have a good night. Put your feet in the stirrups and Oh my god. That's fantastic. Something in it.